In this video, you're going to learn how to hyperlink Google Slides to each other. I am using my Chromebook shortcut slides from my Teacher Paid Teacher account. And in the slideshow, the students will learn a variety of shortcuts, and one of them is learning how to hyperlink to other slides and then hyperlinking back to the table of contents. This is what we are going to be making today. So my first step is I am going to insert a table with one column and uh, we'll start with nine rows. And in my first box here, I'm going to write my first slide, which is how to cut, copy, and paste. And we are working on shortcuts here, but I just want to show you that the shortcuts are also here as well. So we are going to hyperlink using Control K, and we're going to use slides in our presentation. Please make sure that you use the slide numbers and not next slide or previous slide. That will make things a little bit easier. So now after you've hyperlinked, you do want to change the color so that you can see it. And you can also adjust the background fill and all of that. So when you are in present mode, the hyperlink will work and get you to the slide. But now we need something that will get you back to the table of contents slide. So for this instance, I'm just going to use an image. And the image can be anything. If you wanted to use an image from Google, you can do that as well but I'm just going to insert a shape here and I just wanna type in home and that will bring me back to the table of contents or home. And make sure that you do control K on that as well. And this is going to get linked to slide number two. You can use the arrow key to get down to it. And once this one is hyperlinked, you can now take this and paste it to every slide because it's already hyperlinked. So it's kind of saving you a couple of extra steps. So now when you are in present mode from the table of contents, we can click on the link. It will take us to the page and then our home link will bring us back to the table of contents. So at this point, you can go ahead and add all of the other names of the slides in each one of those cells of the table. And you can also label this as table of contents by using the text box or word art and making it appear on the side of your screen there. Now you can use this skill to create games like Jeopardy or some kind of interactive game, adventure game. Uh, but the possibilities are endless once you learn how to hyperlink your slides. 